what's going on? Check it out. We have the airstone in place. Not the cleanest setup in the world. I ran out of these pigtails, so I definitely need to run to Home Depot and grab another one for the timer. One thing I dislike about having to be, well, you know, adhering to code is that we need these waterproof covers on top of all the plugs, which makes it hard for a giant timer to fit into. But this is the temporary setup until we can get it uh, completed. So here we are. Uh, the water has been sitting out for 24 hours to off-gas some of the chlorine. I literally just turned the pump on here and hooked everything up not more than five minutes ago. Coffee was brewing. It's fresh. It's cooling down for a second. And here we go. Here's the setup, just like we talked about. Here's an active aqua pump with two outlets coming down to two hoses, and each one of these has that airstone on it. But what you'll notice is... What we talked about in yesterday's video, if I put this under water, you can sort of see the air is only coming out of, like I mentioned, this top portion. And that is because this pump is not nearly powerful enough for these stones. These stones are way bigger than they should be. But that's totally fine. That's just what I had on hand. But uh, decent air diffusion nonetheless. And we don't need a lot in here. It's only a 20 gallon reservoir. And remember, this is only gonna run for 15 minutes and then rest for 45 minutes. It's on that full cycle timer, everything that we set up yesterday. There's a top-down shot of the timer there so you can see the exact setup if that's something you would like to copy for yourself. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw our nutrients in. First up is the 400 milliliters of the Terraflora. Just dump that in there. Next up, 175 milliliters of Kenzyme. Roughly 160 to 175, somewhere around there. That's done. Next up, we got our boosts. 175 milliliters of boosts. Now, the water's dark. Someone did mention in the comments that they noticed... Uh, you know, when they put boost in, it was dark, but then after a day or two, it became clear with the aeration. So we'll, we'll find out. Here we go, 50 milliliters of rhizotonic. There we go. And last, but certainly not least, 20 milliliters of Mammoth Peak. All right, we're going to take our uh, high-tech prototype stirring utensil. We've got st stones in there, so I'm trying to be careful. More of a back and forth than it is a stirring motion, just to get some initial agitation going. We'll let that rest, and we'll come back and water here in just a minute the plants definitely needed I'm just getting these air stones somewhat spaced out if I can problem with this is now I can't see the bottom of the tray you guys aren't even looking at the barrel there we go all right there we go we got aeration happening right now I want to take you over here and show you the garden for a second. Temperatures have been absolutely crazy. 111 degrees in here yesterday. I don't know if you can see that right there. Absolutely unbelievable. It's going to be 97 outside today. Look at, oh. Oh, look at that. Yep, we super cropped her. So we super cropped the big one. That's out of the wind. We super cropped another one over here already starting to bend back up we'll see how that goes we super cropped this one over here uh, that one over there just got pulled back a little bit but then uh, the one that didn't make it where's it at over here it got topped let's see if I can get this to focus here that one got topped so, just couldn't make it. I don't know 
why it's not focusing. There we go. No. Oh, well. Couldn't make it. So that one got topped. But everything else seems to be doing okay. Definitely a lot more budding since we took the shade cloth off. I mean, you can already see just in the morning shots here how much more sunlight's coming in. Well, we know exactly, right? 30 to 40% more. It was a 30 to 40% shade cloth. But taking a look, I think those two colas are going to do just fine. They don't get hit, you know, too hard with the wind. So, yeah. See if we can back out here. Give you a good idea of what we're working with. Definitely lankier than I would like. But man, oh man, they're tall. Look at this. Oof. That's going to be a lot of butt. This is going to fill out. I mean, this is going to fill out. That's going to be a big old cola. So, right here too. It'll fill out. It'll fill out. So, we did super crop a couple of them. Some of them not doing so good. We may need to look at this one. It just... That's the problem. They're so big, they just bent all the way over. Boom. That one's down here. You can see it's drooping down, hanging up. So we'll see. It happens in nature. We got plenty of time, plenty of time. We can always hang some yo-yos from the roof and kind of pull some of these up. We may end up doing that as well. Let me know in the comments what you think we should do. Appreciate all the comments, all the thumbs up everyone's been giving. Really, really loving the support for this new series. It's down and dirty. It's quick, hopefully somewhat informational. Everyone seems to really like the POV. I'm trying to grab it and I'm not grabbing it because shit, there's water in there. And I got water in here. It's okay, what we can do though is we'll just add it in here. It's just clear water, plain water I left out in case I was gonna need it and I didn't. Ooh, look at that. We're almost overflowing. So let's, we are overflowing. So let's get this, let's get this filled up quick style. All right. That was a mistake. What was I going to do? I probably just should have dumped it out on the ground. Don't you think? Well, that's what happens when we're improvising on the spot, you know? Soak it all up. I'm trying not to spill. I'm trying. There we go. That's the effect we wanted. That's the effect we wanted. All right. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Let's go. Do you remember? Can we count together? Five second pour. One two, three, four, five. Long five. It's a long five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, all right. So while we're watering the plants, I would encourage everyone to check out all the links in the description if you got some time. Check out Bader's channel, Shrimp Sticks channel, Growers Workshop if you're not already. People ask how they can support the channel. Well, you can become a member for when we do live streams. You get some cool emotes. I'm going to try and start doing some members only content. We never really had enough members to start to do that previously. So if we get that up, we will. Growers Workshop, hopefully firing up next week with Chet from Kenna. Can't wait. Can't wait. Lots of content coming. I couldn't figure out why I had enough to make it all the way to the end, and then I just realized, well, we did the first one. All right, so that's that. That's the first round. 
First round of feeding, we'll probably give him one more. Probably give him one more. Alright, there we go. Okay. So that's done there. Looks like our air stones are separated out, so that's good. Oh shit, did I just drop a rock in there? I think I did. We're gonna have to get that later. All right, so we'll just let that sit there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this pail and water them one more time, but I will let all of you go. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me on these mornings. Look at this, look at this. We almost forgot the coffee. How could we forget, Oscar? Can't be grouchy. Oh, how could you be grouchy with coffee like that? Damn, that's good. All right. I'm going to sit down here, do my morning meditation before I start my first Zoom meeting. I hope you all have a great, fantastic day. Until next time, you all know who it is. Your friend on this end, Doggo, out here on the dock of the bay, saying peace. Keep it green, everybody, and I'll get back with you.